teaching philosophy basically uh, when I started teaching um, I wanted to uh, teach art to the students to make it to where I believe everyone has the ability to learn how to do art. Um, I, I went through my art career uh, not struggling myself but watching others struggle by the way art was being taught. I try to make all of my lessons broken down into small steps. I try to scaffold my lessons so that it's very easy for each student to digest what it is that I'm teaching and see how it works into a larger project or a more complicated uh, theme in our works. I really believe that with art um, if you're going to progress into painting, you really have to be strong at drawing. So I spend my first year with my students building all these foundations. Uh, when they move on to advance, we start working with more color theory. Um, we start dealing with different types of painting. Um, so we do it with a lot of different themes, but also a lot of different medias once we get into advance. Uh, my AP students, once they finish advance, they have a very uh, well put together portfolio that will assist them in, in passing their AP portfolio review. I've taken two years of Manini's art class, beginning and advanced. I appreciate his class because before taking it, I didn't like art at all. I didn't like drawing or anything. I really appreciate my Nini. He really inspires everybody and he makes everybody feel like they can be an artist. I'm going to be a commercial artist. And thanks to my Nini, I have the skills to do that now. We love you, Manini. Thank you for being our best friend and our role model. I love how dedicated you are and passionate you are about art. We love you. I'd like to invite everyone to the Richmond Art Center for the uh, student district uh, show. Uh, we It's going to run through uh, April 27th. Uh, please take the time and come by and see all of the wonderful work from the students of our district. And right after that show is ended, I will have my own uh, solo show in the community gallery uh, at the Richmond Art Center as well.